they are chased away him. from you. Be healed. You are healed. Be delivered. Praise him. You are delivered. Praise him for those wonderful words. The set free. Praise you are him set for the free gracious in word. Jesus' name. Upon Lord, I pray there will be manifestation, demonstration, by and performance of miracle, healing, deliverance everywhere right now in Jesus' name. To my right, to my left, to my front, at the back, online, over the television, over the radio, everywhere you hear the sound of the voice now. Let that miracle Let take place immediately. Thank you, Lord. Express your Thank gratitude you, Lord. to him. Thank you, Lord. Don't keep quiet. It is if done in Jesus' something. name. If you have experienced something, you have realized the Check touch of yourself, God upon your, your mind the miracle and what he has graciously right and wonderfully there. done for you. It is done. You the need Lord. to open your mouth. Ah, and him praise the Lord! For what he has done. Soon and very soon, your healing arrives. Soon and very soon, your salvation comes in Jesus' name. And soon and very soon, you will testify. I will testify tonight the in night Jesus of joy name we pray. joy in heaven I know joy that the on not earth done us yet. on your behalf That's why we are still here what are you him. father we are going we to pray, pray upon everyone here everyone the online today. there will be joy there will be All salvation, the there will be healing, there will be deliverance. Pray and Lord, I pray no one here, no one there the will miss it in Jesus' name. The Lord has in store Joy. For us. Joy. Joy pray. in your heart, in heaven, in your family. Lord, stamp it on everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. We need that. God has blessed you. you. You can sit grace down. Tonight, we come God still talking about when that grace transformation. Is upon you, Tonight is restorative transformation from the Lord. of the prodigal. The resource of heaven, the mercy of heaven, to restore every prodigal, prodigal son, prodigal daughter, Please, when you're before prodigal the Lord, adult, presence, prodigal elderly, you have everyone every that has strayed away, strayed away him. from the path express where yourself. the Lord wants us express to be your prodigal. Gratitude. There was even a prodigal prophet, his name Jonah. There are he prodigals, prayed. prodigals everywhere, prodigals in every community. And tonight is the to restoration and the transformation of the hope. prodigal. I'm reading from Luke him. chapter 15, and what I'm looking at verse 7. It says, I say, Unto you that likewise Lord, uh, joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over ninety and nine just persons that need no repentance. Look at Verse 10, in verse 10, likewise, I say unto us. you, there is Told joy the in the presence of the it's angels of more. God and over one sinner. Over one sinner that repented, over one sinner. 
that returns over one sinner that is restored over one sinner that says i make up my mind enough is enough enough of being a prodigal that we enough find of today being to receive. a person that went astray enough of a person that doesn't think right doesn't behave right doesn't act right and doesn't do anything right i'm coming back home you are coming back to the city in of Jesus tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And there will you be a restoration. There will be a transformation. Yeah. Restorative transformation the of the prodigal. Look at verse 24. In verse and 24, it says, For this my son Have you was dead. That and it's alive and again. This is what you are dead. Going to take to dead the Lord in, in prayer now and trespasses oh, but Lord. then the love of god Pass me and the forgiveness today. of god and the freedom that, that came to him now transform him from my life, transform him from death unto life he was he lost and he is found the and he began to be merry happy cheerful By joyful celebrating the restoration and the salvation of the one that had By gone astray Turner, and now has come back. Look at verse 32. In verse 32, it was necessary. It was needful. It was meat. It was right that we should make merry and be glad. For this thy brother was dead. And it's alive and again. He was just lost no. and is found. Open your mouth now and we're ready to the Lord. Him now. Remember I'm me, oh Lord. about you. All those things. I'm bringing the love of God to you tonight. The, the mercy of God to you tonight. The restoration. Full restoration, free restoration, and bringing that restoration those things that that's already noted in heaven, I'm bringing it to you and tonight. You will be restored. From sin to the Savior, you will be restored. From the backslider to the believer coming back to the Lord tonight. Dryness. Your will, spiritual be wilderness, those Your things is dying that down. have made you vain and empty from sickness unto health, you will Lord, be restored. The and the from all God, the chains binding you from captivity to total freedom, you will be restored. Of the Where's the person and I'm the talking power about? Of the Lord there? Come upon Restoration you again. upon your life. And everything you have lost, internal, external, all around, in your family, Can you in your profession, to leave this place? in your total you field of occupation, everything Can you, you have to leave lost, this place? there is restoration Without tonight in Jesus' name. You. The it's restorative transformation of the Prodigal. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, the restlessness and the recklessness of the prodigal slave. Actually, the prodigal becomes a slave. A slave to sell. A slave to greed. A slave to gambling. A slave in the far country, a slave under the, the man that got him something, a slave to hunger, a slave to confusion, the man who goes away from the family of God becomes a slave. The restlessness and the recklessness of the prodigal state. Number I two, the here, repentance and the restoration of wine, the penitent sufferer. When we suffer, it? 
Many times the suffering will melt our hearts. The suffering will bring back the old time memory when things were good, when things were peaceful, when things were all things were provided. And now we suffer, and that suffering brings us to remembrance where we could have been, what we could have been eating, where we could have been living, and the good, good things we could have been having. And that sometimes leads us to repentance, to be penitent, and to say, I'll go by act of number three, the recovery and the rejoicing and the personal salvation. Personal salvation. We now have that direct contact with the Heavenly Father. And we have the conversion. And we have the connection with the source of all goodness. And now we have that salvation of the Lord the personal. The way. And we have the recovery recover and the rejoicing. Because now we can say, I am saved personal. Not that. We are this saved. Heart. No. Salvation that is personal. Repentance is personal. Let Restoration is personal. Conversion is personal. By and the salvation of the is. Lord that comes in our soul as we turn away like from today. evil and turn unto the Lord, the good Lord, Pray. they will have that Personal experience, personal evidence, That's and personal expression of salvation. Look at number one. I number one, the restlessness and the recklessness of the prodigal slave. We're looking at not. Luke chapter 15, and I read from verse 11. And he, say, and he said, is Christ talking now? A certain man had two sons. Verse 12. In verse 12, and the younger of them said unto his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. Look at verse 13. In verse 13, and not many days after, the younger son who became a slave, slave to everything around him, gathered all together and took his journey into a far country where the father will not see him, where the mother will not be able to reach him. He went. It was not at the time of cell phone. Even at this time of cell phone, if you don't want anybody to reach you and touch you and teach you, there's a way you can put off that thing and nobody name, can reach you. And the boy went In into this far country and he wasted all the substance the great day of the feast righteous Jesus stood and cried living. saying righteous living. dissipating living a kind of life that makes him enjoy him life he just got some drink. money and he squandered Pastor everything he squandered he money he squandered his health he squandered his opportunities, he squandered his life. He gambled That's with lie means. and lost and everything. The man of God All his substance as the, the Lord has brought us into this, this world is the last where we are born. Naturally, the last this great he gives us what belongs to us, a portion, the a brain, of the Lord. a mind to see. And there are people, and as they are growing up, they waste 
the bread, he the waste, the mind. From your life. He gives us beauty. When you pray for the flesh on the face, in the body, swelling, many people the waste all of that. Water. He gives us good lungs to breathe by all smoking the, the ordinary cigarettes. The smoke gets in, damages your lungs. And then by smoking marijuana, weeds, you need all you the need intelligence, the all the brain, waters. all the mind the is affected by the things you smoke. And there are people that waste pray. their lives by drinking. The problem is they drink, they drink, they drink, and they're drinking will get to the parts of their body and you see all that uh, whatever is in the drink is not for the body to mature to grow very well and to be healthy the and there are people that take drugs and drugs hard drugs That's and they what take the all Lord those says. drugs and then they waste virtually their lives. Other people get into, In you know, Jesus moral life pray. and they have a and fleshly carnal knowledge of that the woman, of, of that woman, of that eventually they cut all this venereal disease some people have. HIV Our AIDS the Lord, is Pastor because Dr. they became Dr. slaves. Queen. Slaves to, to the flesh the power of the spirit. and slaves and to, to substance and slaves to everything around and instead pray. of their body, their mind, their emotion, their brain and, and instead of everything the good they have the working for them. Everything that works against them. And it's still restless. It's like, if I didn't get to eat in the smoke, I'll get to eat in the drink. If I didn't get to eat in the drink, they're restless. They're searching, they're searching. How can I have satisfaction? How can I have this? And they keep on in their restlessness and they're reckless. The way they use their lives, they're reckless. The way they gamble with their lives, they're reckless in the way they gamble with the opportunity of getting to heaven. It's become a slave and eventually begins to cry, who shall deliver me from this object and from this substance? But as long in as the Jesus restlessness name, goes on, as long as the recklessness in your life your goes on, there will be pain, there will be suffering. You. And that That's young man that went to the far country in his restlessness, searching and searching and searching, in his recklessness, going as far as and far Jesus and far name. to that other country, he kept on suffering. I pray that today and will be your day and weakness in our salvation restoration and all that restlessness the Lord will take away look at Proverbs chapter 4 I'm reading from verse 16 he wrote wrote Proverbs chapter 4 we're looking at verse 16 for this lead not except they have done mischief that's their restlessness it is saying I must do something to hurt somebody. I must do something to dig up somebody. I must do something to bring mischief. I must do something that the people around will know there is a restless labor around. They are reckless in their action. They are thoughtless in their action. And in the things they do and the places they go, and the interactions they have, restless and reckless. It says, they sleep not, except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. They must hurt somebody. They must provoke somebody. They must annoy somebody. They must cut down somebody. They must push down somebody. It says in verse 17, verse 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of 
violence. We're looking at that sin. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 20. But the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest. Restlessness. And whose waters cast off mire and dirt. Look at Psalm 37. I'm reading from verse 7. Psalm 37. Verse 7. It says, Rest in the Lord. Let all this restlessness, let it stop all the agitation in the heart, in the mind. Let it stop all the things that make you sleepless, that fellow. I wanted to get to him today and do something that you will know I'm the son of my father. I didn't have the chance. And then you're running on the bed there, you're planning. Why are you so restless? Rest in the Lord and wait, wait patiently for him. The hurry to get money, the hurry to build business. The hurry to defile a lady. The hurry to make a man fall. And the restlessness and the planning. It says, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. It's calling us to rest. Give me the rest. I said it will give you rest. This is our young man who was in the far country. He spent everything he had. He wasted everything he had. He joined a rich man in that community. And that man sent him to degrade him this graceful job to feed swine. And then he had nothing to do, and his salary, his remuneration was not sufficient to keep him. He wanted to eat of the husks, giving to the swine, and the man wanted him. The day you touch that, you know, that useless thing, will not even feed his body, you understand? Our body and flesh is different from the body and the flesh of the feet, and what nourishes them. Well, not nourish a body. It's like somebody looking at the feed that is given to chicken. It may feed those chickens, it will not nourish your body. It's like you know somebody looking at what cows eat. It may nourish them, but they are not made for the human body. Even if it was given, his health will still weigh his health. Will still vanish away. He became a slave by his own restlessness. Lord, my friend, your restlessness and your recklessness brings you to the point a slave. A slave. And you are not free. But now we're looking at point number two. Point number two is the repentance and the restoration. Of the penitent suffer. This man started suffering. Many of us are suffering. And you know, sometimes the experts will tell us your problem is what you eat. And what you eat is eating you up. Your problem is what you drink. And the drink is drinking. Sucking your blood. Your problem is your lifestyle. And it's your lifestyle that is bringing the sickness and the suffering upon you. And so the man realized I've been the one hurting myself. I've been the one destroying myself. Look at what he said in Luke chapter 15, verse 17. And when he came to himself, what does that mean? He was out of himself before. In recklessness, in restlessness, he lost his mind. He couldn't think. He couldn't think about the consequence of what he was doing. 
Now he came to himself. Suffering brought his brain back. Suffering brought his mind back. Suffering makes him to sit down and think, Wow, am I like this? Why did I get myself into this situation? This suffering here is not because of which is a wizard. This is you. This suffering here is not because of the village enemies. This is you. The restlessness, your recklessness brought all this upon you. And when he came to himself, he said, How many? Higher servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish of hunger in this place. Look at verse 18. I will arise and go to my father. I'm going to put shame aside. Recklessness aside, thoughtlessness aside, not thinking about your life, my friend. What you do today? Do you think of the repercussions tomorrow? Lady Ben, what you do today? Do you think of the result, the ruin of your life tomorrow? And then, here am I now. I want to talk to you, and as I want to talk to you, dodge your head. Why? Why don't you come back to yourself and say, This preacher knows me. It's like he's pointing at me. I will listen. If somebody help me shout there, I will listen. Say it well. Because of that, he said, I will arrive. It's a personal decision. I took a decision in my recklessness. I left home. I left the father. I left the goodness of the home. And I left the goodness of the creation of God. Since I took that decision by myself. And I came this far. And I've literally destroy myself i'm going to take the decision to go back if i know the way from the father to the far country that same road will lead me home that same road the road you choose to become a slave prodigal slave that same road you will take as a penitent sufferer and come back home. Thank God. Welcome. You are back. I said, You are back. The man said, I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned. That's the beginning of turning around in your life. Not that. My elder brother pushed me to thinking of going far away. Not that the home condition pushed me to go in away. Not that my friends, my gang, my colleagues, my whatever, they pushed me to it. Nobody pushed me. I was reckless. Nobody pushed me. I was restless. I have sinned against heaven. And before thee, that the repentance that that man manifested. And when you begin to repent, the end of your suffering has come. Look at Osea chapter 14. In Osea chapter 14, I'm reading from verse 1. O Israel. Return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. It's your iniquity, it's your sin, it's your transgression that made you fall into a condition like this. Young man, young woman, 
lady, look at where you are, and it's your transgression, it's your evil, and it's your sin that makes you to become like this. After the sinfulness of the self-respect. After the sinfulness, what was the honor you used to have? Him. After the transgression, when raised the dignity of the woman Emmanuel that you ought to have. When is the dignity of the man? After people have seen and you know, they look at you like this, dignity is gone. Self-respect is gone. And even for you, the confidence you used to have, everything is gone. Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. Ministries. Praise the Lord. Please, if you are here, sir, can you rise for a And And says, for Thank thou you. was falling you by thine iniquity. By Look at verse 2. It says in verse 2, take what you was. For the good God is even teaching us what here. to say. Now we are going to rise and how as we to say it when we come to so take what you was. And turn to Page the four. Lord, say unto him, take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. We don't come with any marriage, we only come for grace, we come for mercy, we come for his love. The love the that never dies, so will we render. The calves of that day, our lips. Look at verse 3 there. To Elisha, In verse 3, say, it says, Asha what I shall, do shall unto not you, save unto thee. us. And All the other replied, things we have depended upon side, in our foolishness. The reckless man me. is foolish. Lord, and the reckless woman away. is foolish. Just In our foolishness, we thought, but I Money see will there's save. so much With to be done. Man but will save. With all, all these things are out of by our own strength, our own connection. The they will save. Give me, Lord, they have ruined us. Asher shall not me. save us. We will not ride upon horses. Neither will we see any more. To In the work of our hands, ye are me, Lord, our God, from thee. for in thee, God, the fatherless will find mercy. Thank God, tonight you'll find mercy. And the God of his mercy is thrown at you. No matter how deep you are in that well of destruction, that part of mercy will pull you up. Look at Jeremiah chapter 31. I'm reading from verse 20. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 20. Is Ephraim my dear son? Is he a pleasant child for sins? I speak against him. I do honestly remember him still. Understand? Is Jonah my servant? Is gone to another place Lord from the place I sent him? He's now in the whale's belly. And God was still thinking about him. Is Manasseh my son? Did I put him as king over the land? But he has refused all the words of the prophets. And now the enemy is coming with the poop. Now the chain of thorns and Manasseh cries. Because I still remember him. Therefore my bowels are troubled for him. I, I will surely, I will surely, I will surely have mercy upon him, says the Lord. Did you hear that one? Where is your amen? 
and our suffering in us. The Lord is saying, You remember your spirit. And tonight is the night of mercy in your love. In Ezekiel chapter 18, Ezekiel chapter 18, I'm reading from verse 4. Behold, also surmise, as the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The soul that sinneth, it brings the dead penalty against himself. God will not want him to die, but the sinner led him to death and destruction. Any solution? Yes. The solution has come. What's the solution? Look at verse 30. In verse 30, it says, Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, says the Lord God. But then, he says, repent, look at God. He says, I will judge you. I will judge you. And I will lay my suffering on you. And again, you remember so much. And immediately he said, I will judge. He said, but we can cancel the judgment right here now. And your judgment can be canceled right here now. Your punishment can be canceled right here now. Your suffering can be taken away right here now how repay and turn yourself from all your transgressions so iniquity shall not be your ruin if you are ruined understand it's not the will of god if you are ruined understand it is not the plan of god that ruined you it is your sin it is your iniquity it says so iniquity shall not ruin you it says repent repent look at the satire one in the satire one it says cast away from you all your transgressions whereby ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new and spirit for why were you that look at God God has said the soul that sinneth it shall die and then God turns and says but why were you that I made you for life I made you for abundant life I made abundant life for you I made you for eternal life I made eternal life for you why will you die when there is mercy when there's forgiveness when there's grace when there is salvation why will you die you will not die look at verse 32 in verse 32 for i have no pleasure in the death of him that died god says I'm not interested in your death. I'm not interested in your judgment. I'm not interested in your emptiness. I'm not interested in blowing you down, cutting you down, and throwing you away. He says, I have no pleasure in the death of him that died. He says, says the Lord God, wherefore turn yourselves and leave ye you will live. Amen. My brother, my sister, I said, you will live. Amen. You live a bright, a bright life, a forgiven life, an assured life. You will live in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at number three. Here's the connection that brings you to that life. Because now we have the recovery and the rejoicing in the personal salvation. The recovery and the rejoicing in the personal salvation. And look at Luke chapter 15, and we're reading from verse 23. And bring him hither, and bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it. And let us eat and be merry. Look at verse 24. In verse 24, for this my son was dead 
He was dead to my voice. He was dead to my pleading. He was dead to my mercy. He was dead to my goodness. He was dead to my invitation. He was dead, but now he is alive. Transformation has taken place. Transformation will take place in your life. He was lost. He was lost. And if the whistle was being blown, but the blood was pierced until he became lost. He was lost and is found. And he says, and they began to be known. Your life will bring joy in your family. The family that has been hanging their head look at this boy. And we took him to church in fact. We took him to deeper life when he was young. And he used to lead a family devotion. But now look at that boy. Look at this girl who brought her up in the way of the Lord. And he knows the, she knows the scripture. And she used to even coach the scriptures. And when mommy was sick, I remember. Uh, that particular year, and mommy was always giving, almost giving up. It was the girl that will put the promise of God and say, Mommy, don't you remember this? Don't you remember this? But this girl that was spiritual, this girl that appeared special, this girl that she used to be an encouragement to everybody in the family, she's gone far away. But now, you are dead, you have come alive. You are lost, but you are the found. It tells us in Psalm 51. Psalm 51, I'm looking at verse 12. Psalm 51, verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. There is joy in salvation. There is joy in forgiveness. There is joy in recovery. There is joy in the new life. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And uphold me with thy free spirit. And then with that rejoicing comes recovery. I said, comes recovery. Look at this. this man we are talking about malnutrition. I said, you know what like? Because he had nothing good to eat. Malnutrition, a weakness, an impotence. It's not up to 40 years. It's looking like 67. It's looking like somebody very old. It's not up to 37. And he's looking and walking like a man of 82 years of age. Why? Malnutrition has done the work. Why? The suffering has done the work. Where was he sleeping when he was taking care of the hawks? When he was taking care of the swine? He was living where uh, mosquitoes were come. Malaria, talk of malaria, talk of fire, talk of a typhoid fever, and talk about everything. But now he came back home. And as he came back home, this man in one day is going to get well. And this, my friend, there, one day, one night, you are going to go to where? Look at Psalm 103, Psalm 103. I'm reading from verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Look at verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Look at verse 3 there. In verse 3, O forgiveness all thine iniquities so he is all thy diseases and the young man came home the father did not say sit down there i need to talk to you no his conscience has spoken to him already the suffering has spoken to him or the hunger has spoken to him already all that the father offered now 
is new life, new clothing, new food. Everything new, you have been forgiven tonight is your night of forgiveness. No remembrance of any sin that prodigal slave did before. Who forgiven all thine iniquities? And look at this who feels all thy diseases. How many diseases will God heal from you? Everything, all, all, from the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Healing will come to you tonight in Jesus. Jeremiah chapter 17 tells us of the personal salvation and of the personal soundness of the body. Heal me, O Lord, I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Your time has come. Your salvation has come. Your forgiveness has now come. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. Can you say that with me? Save me. Save me, and I shall be saved. Heal me, and I shall be healed. Your time has now come. It's bowed, and I stood. It's bowed, and I stood. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Think about your life. What the restlessness and the recklessness has brought you into. And you see this the last time. For now, coming back to the fountain of my salvation to Christ for forgiveness, for freedom, for redemption, for transformation. And anywhere you are, you are there, you want that salvation of the Lord, please raise up your hand. God bless you. God bless you. This is your day. That's your day. That God is going to forgive and God is going to save. And it will save you from all the things ruining your life right now. So raise up your hand in the name of the Lord. Please stand up. There is nothing. God bless you there. God bless you there. God bless you there. There is joy in heaven because of you right now. Just stand up where you are there. Look at the past. The Lord wants to wipe away the past. He wants to give you a kind of restorative transformation. As you're standing up, just tell the Lord in one word, in one sentence, Lord, I'm sorry for going so far from you. I now come back to you. I know you love me. Amen. Say that. I know God you want to forgive choir. me. Say that. I bring myself completely under your loving you. care Thank you very into much. your salvation. Save me, Lord, and I believe I am saved. Save me. I believe I am saved. I'm going to pray with you now, Father, the mighty name of Jesus, who has said, whosoever comes to him, Will in no wise cast out Reverend this, a brother, you, this, a sister, Lamba, this, our son, this, Nathan our Lamba daughter, they have all come unto you now. Receive Bishop, them, them, forgive Osama, them BFM. in Jesus' name. Give so them the a present day we salvation. Pastor Felix Personal salvation. Pardoning salvation. Forgive all the sins they have Mrs. ever committed. Yours, and let the joy Amarako. of salvation come into their hearts we also have Christian And let there be joy Peter in heaven over every Oster. one of them. Here, at the Alpha location, there, online, 
everywhere we're connected, we're connected we're connected listening to the word we and listening to the prayer now that the joy of salvation feel ever thank you lord all welcome in the it name is of done. jesus christ now it is done in Jesus, Jesus name we pray Ujo, Ujo, I Udoma, am to come saved. up and introduce the saved convener I this great am saved. conference it's Pastor Dr. W. name we we'll call on our moderate team and overseer tonight to lead us in this uh, counseling session and then after that I come back you will heal all your diseases in Jesus' name. Pastor, please. All of you who raised your hand, you who stood up, please, can you stay How many standing of us up are there? Ready to eat the bottom uh, counselors, please spread yourselves. Today, the lords of this people are in the tent over there enjoy. by my right. Let's Since some go week. over there and, uh, and there are two walls uh, yes, the back of this uh, uh, building. A lot of our people are there days. raising up their hands there. Yeah. So please, let's evening. spread ourselves and Let get to the back. Let's do that now. Yeah. And those who stood up, remember, you have taken the greatest decision you could take in your life. The Lord we have been has been gracious to you to, to save you. Be happy about that. Be excited the about that and be willing and ready to, to give to all the, the information that our people are asking you to give to them. Be honest, you're now born again. Choir, you won't deceive the, anymore, the you won't tell lies anymore. And so wherever you are, said, stand where you are, a, be interested in giving your details to the people that, that are counseling you there. Our counselors, you don't need to go on preaching anymore. All that you need you is remaining. to get the details from them. <laughs> uh, the Lord will help Hallelujah. them as we follow up on them. So we are Please like keep standing. Saying, Please be Abians, excited in giving your details. Blessed. If the, the Abians, counselors are, are not close to you, try yeah. as much oh, yeah, as possible to draw closer around. to them. You if for blessed. your own good, to help you to make workers. progress in the decision they have taken tonight Today, to follow the Almighty God, to, to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Really so our counselors, let's be quick and about that. That is the greatest of, of the things for which the Lord has brought us here. Season. And so please, let's do I all we can at this time to make sure that we As get we to them, to get their details, and those of you who father, are giving the details, be honest and sincere, Pastor, and write in a way that Doctor, your name could be well read w and spelled, so that w visiting w you, w following you up, you up, up, will not be Good difficult. Morning, everyone. Uh, ushers, please, our uh, counselors, please, let's be fast. If they can write for A themselves and by themselves, please Jesus help them, day. let them do that. The Lord if they can write, to life, it's okay, but if they cannot write, going to help them to do that. Afresh. And prepare you Please, for the let's be fast, let's be fast. You. Look around. You Remember, I told you, we have by my right there, name. the tent over there. People are let's there, a the lot of them, I'm sure. Many of them over there will have given them li life to Christ. And that is what we are interested in. You've in doing at this us, moment. So let's follow them up. Approach, let's go on wherever we find them. And uh, the ones who have just taken decision to follow Jesus this night, I think if I wear in your own shoe, I will make sure Jesus I run day. after them if they are not close to me. Make sure you do that. Life. That's an Thank indication you, Lord, that you your answered. decision it Jesus came from your heart. That's indication is spared all by the Spirit of God. So make sure that your name is ever. here. Your name is here. And remember, but tomorrow, you, all of you have given your down. life to Christ. We we'll be having a lunch hour fellowship with Christ tomorrow by 3 p.m. 3 p.m. tomorrow, we will be having lunch hour fellowship church, just at the direction the I'm, I'm pointing at by 3 p.m. Let's the be there. If God. you are God watching online and you have I'm given your life to Christ eight. after listening to the message and, and pastor's message, a prayer, you have a link there, GCK, 
HQ dot org slash slash uh, connect below your player. Please visit it and fill out the form so we can use that in following up and helping you to stand on the decision that made tonight. If you are online, just link that, assess that, gckhq.org slash connect. There are people assess that form and fill it and so that that will help us to follow you still to make you strong in the Lord. But if you have listened to the radio or television, you have a phone number there that's uh, plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two three six. Again, plus two three four nine one five three four four nine two six three. So please, you can use that SMS, SMS, and send your name, your phone number, and your local address so that following up will not be difficult. Please, our counselors, let be quick. The man of God is waiting for you now. Let's round up. Let's be fast about that. And those of you who have given your life to Christ and you are waiting for prayer, I think this is the time to look unto the Lord and say, God, remember me tonight. That's the reason why the man of God was sent to you. You begin to tell the Lord, I am ready. I am expectant. I know that, that something will happen to me, and I should continue to focus on Christ and focus on him alone. When the man of God comes, your case is going to come on hand. And by the grace of God, you will rejoice tonight. But don't shake. Don't just you know, be laughing so around. Make sure you are looking unto the, the Lord and asking for grace to receive from the Lord tonight. Our counselors, wherever you are, please, Let's fast if you are finished, and you know you are finished where you are. Can you join the other ones who are still having a lot to do in their hands? Let's go back and back and back and make sure that wherever the people have answered the altar call, by the grace of God, let's be there to see how to help them. You have taken good decision. By the special grace of God, you will stand. You have taken good decision by the grace of God that has brought you into the kingdom, you are going to stand. There is nothing the enemy could do to push you over. All that you do, do all that you ought to do to make sure that you are followed up by giving your details. Remember again, those who are online and are listening online, we have told you the link there that you have to, you know, touch so that the forms to fill and give us the details uh, will be received. Uh, that's gckhq.org slash connect. You can do that. And those of you from the television or radio, you have a phone number there, plus 234 for 9263, you can do that. And remember that tomorrow we will be having the lunch hour fellowship with Christ tomorrow by 3 o'clock here in the Alpha location at that uh, tent there. There will also be a special banquet. For because all those who have given life, them, uh, themselves to Christ heart, all throughout this crusade on the 5th of May, globally, all over the world. And so wherever you, have, uh, you, know, you, are, you are and you are giving your life to Christ, you are going to be treated in a very great banquet on the, on the fifth uh, Sunday, uh, precisely that the Sunday following us now, you will be there, and by the grace of God, that's the message you are going to receive from the convener, and all other things you need there to help you to stand will be given unto you. Here in the Alpha location, the no locations go, where you are going to meet will be made known to you later. So please, let's be quick in I taking the decision the now. If I you are finished where you are, and uh, you are finished the road where you are, please can you wave the flag at us here? I do. 
you. Where you it are, you are finished. Holy Ghost yes, you can see one by my right house. there. God yes, you can see another one house. by the extreme left Let there. But down, him. down. Amen. If you are there, please wave it wide. So, and okay, thank you. Me, all so the areas. Watch all the line online. directly in front of me here. Are. If you are finished, he can we see your flag we're up? He knows where we're can we see the... Okay, thank you. And all our people who are over there, please, those who are going to detent there, check after checking their you details, check you don't need to leave now. there. You are stay you there because you are going to bring the people God is going to touch by His mighty power tonight. And so you can help them to bring them along when the time comes. But meanwhile, Let's be very fast in taking the details and let's know when you finish. So that the man of God will come again and open heaven for every one of us to enjoy the message of God tonight. Of his life. Please, he wherever you are, do it quickly. If a man is not watching do it quickly. over his life, over Let his me see the flags again flying. Over his character. Over his lifestyle. Thank if a you. man is not watching, if a woman Thank you. is not watching, over please, if there's anywhere, you can see come to the front because we can't see very clearly from here where you are, it's very far. If you can quickly walk out, walk and come from the eye where you are and walk to the front so that we can know we have really gotten the names of all those who gave their lives, that will be all right for us. Please, if you can leave where you are now, come towards the front, that to help Take us to know that you are finished. Thank you. Yourselves and to all the flock over the week. The Please let the fast about it. Remember, we are waiting, okay? We are waiting for miracles. If you are waiting for miracles, say amen. With if you are the one that the man of God came well, for to give you that to special touch and blessings, if you know you are the one, can you shout amen? All over the world, he is here in Alpha location about here to send the healing of our God to you wherever you are. And by the grace of God, you will rejoice. You will never, never have experienced what you are going to experience in your life tonight. Yes, all those ones, can we see them? The blood now we are seeing so that you already so concluded. And can we all rise up? Let's rise up wherever we are and lift up your hand unto God and say, God, I'm here. I'm waiting for you. The man of God is already at hand. We live here for him to open heaven for us. church, you feed them what the word of God. Now, it's the Holy Ghost who appoints that anoints. It's the Holy Ghost who appoints and anoints the baptizes Amen. and the Amen. out of our life. It's the Holy Ghost that the has Lord has been waiting for you. The now your time must come. For us, Healing. Us. And it comforts us. Deliverance. The There's no exception the tonight. The mercy, the mercy of God will bring that healing to your body right there. The in Jesus' name. For ministry. Everything we Just raise up one hand energy, and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Comes. From that the sickness you see the now, you will see it no more focus. in Jesus' name. We don't pain, we don't you see that no there. more in, in Jesus' Ghost name. Infirmity, in you will see that no more in Jesus' name. My heart this crusade was put beat. together because of you. True. You are not it's the only your that guides us into One the hand field up, of service. The other it's hand the Holy upon Ghost yourself. Father, more grace, more God of grace, mercy, much grace God of love, God, God of power, Lord, we pray you come up. in your mercy yeah, and compassion. Spirit. Touch your people. Jesus Everyone the without he exception. Touch them, heal them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray nobody 
will miss the miracle of mercy tonight. There, there is nothing we do. There is no marriage. We don't pay money. We don't cry. We don't pay for tears. Nothing. By mercy, by grace, your healing has come to everyone. Lord, I pray all those long standing sicknesses, diseases, touch them, heal them in Jesus' name. The pain, I command you, go out in Jesus' name. The bleeding, go out in Jesus' name. The sweating, go out in Jesus' name. The cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Also, be healed in Jesus' name. And all because that uh, breathing no. problem, Lord, I pray that you take it away now in Jesus' name. And near be healed in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray the one that is having the terminal, a kind of sickness, and said, the experts have said, there is no way, there is a them way today. Teach them again. The there is healing today. Lord, the God of mercy, touch everyone. Like Heal yes, them the in Jesus' name. Moving, moving. Of HIV, AIDS, you are healed in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost and that your is spinal so cord that is bent and you couldn't stand up, I pray, no healing, the power miracle, the enemy is the deliverance Holy Ghost comes upon you your right now. Stand up erect mouth. in Jesus' my name. Fear your problem. My fear the crutches in your hand. They not take that the away. Holy Ghost. And, and give your ankle and give time. your knee and, and give your, give your bone time. strength to stand and to walk. I pray that insanity will vanish away now in Jesus' name. God for the soul, for the spirit, mercy, mercy brings healing, deliverance to everyone, the young and the old, the boy and the girl, the mama and the papa, everyone to experience that healing right now, to the right, to the left, to the center, at the back, on the radio, over the television, online, everywhere. Healing everywhere. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My brother is healed. Thank you, Lord. My sister, my daughter is healed. Thank you, Lord. We are healed. I am healed. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. In Jesus name we pray Anytime you are called to do what you need to do you will be there at your post it is done. the Lord and the things and the people ah. and the things, praise the Lord never, soon when the and very soon your healing you soon and very soon your salvation comes in Jesus' name. Shall. And you soon and very and soon, and you, you need to will I testify. Know that I, know I that will you testify. Tonight, you know, the night of joy. Moscow, joy Russia. in heaven, Great joy on earth, on your behalf. What are you, Apart Father? We pray old, upon you know, everyone here, here everyone the online. There will be joy, there will be salvation, there will be healing, no there will be deliverance. And Lord, I pray no one anywhere, here, no one there will miss it in Jesus' name. 
ministry. Joy. Uh, this one uh, Joy. asking good regular Joy. questions. Then somebody raised up in your heart. At the moderate top in heaven. Him, uh, in your family. He said, Lord, stamp it on everyone. Any black man In Jesus' any name we pray. God has blessed man. you. You can sit down. First Tonight, we come see still talking minister. about and then transformation. Tonight is restorative transformation why? of the prodigy. Are you able to do the, this? Resource of black, heaven, the mercy of heaven to restore man, every prodigal, you know prodigal son, prodigal daughter, man. prodigal adult, it, but that prodigal elderly, everyone to their that has strayed away, strayed away from the path. Where the Lord said, wants you us to be prodigal. Your seven is prodigal of prophet is his name so yes, Jonah. Said, there are prodigals, prodigals everywhere, prodigals in every community. And tonight is the restoration the and the transformation and the of the prodigal. I'm reading from that Luke chapter 15, and I'm looking at verse 7. Heaven. It says, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over ninety and nine just persons that need no repentance. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, likewise. I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner. Over one sinner that repented, over one sinner that returns, over one sinner that is restored, over one sinner that says, I make up my mind. Enough is enough. Enough, like enough of being a prodigal. Enough of being a person that went astray. Enough of a person that doesn't think right, doesn't behave right, doesn't act right, and doesn't do anything right. I'm coming back to old man. We are coming back to the Savior tonight. This day, and there will be will a restoration. Places. There will be will a transformation. Restorative transformation what? of the prodigal. Look at verse 24. In verse 24, it says, For this my son was dead and is alive again. Dead, and dead in sins and trespasses, but then the love of God and, so and the forgiveness of God and the freedom that came to him now transform him, transform him from death unto life. He was lost. And he is found. And they began to be merry, happy, cheerful, and joyful, celebrating the restoration and the salvation of the one that had gone astray and now has come back. Look at verse 32. In verse 32, it was necessary. It was needful. It was me. It was right that we should make merry and be glad. For this thy brother was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Now, when we read about him, now, 
I'm preaching about you. If you know you, I'm preaching the love of God to you tonight. The mercy of God to you tonight. The restoration, full restoration, free restoration. I'm bringing that restoration that's already noted in heaven. I'm bringing it to you tonight. You will be restored. From sin to the Savior, and there were questions the will be restored. From the backslider to the believer, coming back to the Lord tonight. And the will be restored. The amen is dying down. From sickness unto health, and when the will be restored. And from all the chains binding you, from captivity and to total freedom, when I the said will be restored. What I say, but I just said as before, and then something the came out. Restoration exactly upon your life. That you need, and that everything you had lost. I asked, I said, that, that's right. External. That's right. And then I asked around, the question. Would your you family, my your profession, presentation, in your you total field of occupation, and everything of you have lost, no, there is restoration so tonight in Jesus' name. The restorative transformation the of the prodigal. There are three things we're brain. looking at. Number one, the restlessness and the recklessness of the prodigal slave. Actually, the prodigal becomes a slave. A slave to sell. A slave to greed. When you get a slave to gambling. A slave in the far country. A slave under the man that got him something. A slave to hunger. A slave to confusion. The man who goes away from the family of God becomes a slave. The restlessness and the recklessness of the prodigal state. Number two, the repentance and the restoration of the penitent suffer. When we suffer, many times the suffering will melt our heart. The suffering will bring back the old time memory. Don't when things were and good, go when now, things were peaceful, when things were, out, all things were provided, and now we suffer, and that suffering brings us to remembrance where we, where we could have been, what we could have been eating, where we could have been living, and the good, good things we could have been having, and that sometimes leads us to repentance. To be penitent, as you say, I go by of number three, the, the recovery and the rejoicing and the personal salvation. Personal salvation. We now have that direct contact with the Heavenly Father. And we have the conversion. And we have the connection with the source of, of all the goodness, goodness. The and now we have of the that, that salvation of the Lord personal, and we, and we have the recovery and the rejoicing, because now we you can see I no more am Save personal. Not that no we are fear. saved. Are no. Salvation is personal. Repentance is personal. Restoration is personal. Conversion is personal. And the salvation of the Lord the that comes in our soul as we turn away from evil and turn unto the Lord, the good Lord, then we have that personal experience, personal evidence, and personal expression of 
salvation. Look at number one. Number one, the restlessness and the recklessness of the prodigal slave. We're looking at Luke chapter 15. And I read from verse 11. And he said, it's Christ Christ talking now, a certain man had two sons. Verse 12. In verse 12, and the younger of them said unto his father, Father, inside the heart. Give me the, the portion to go of goods is the that falleth to me. To and and he divided unto them his living. Look at to, verse 13. To go In verse 13, and not many days after, the, the younger son wants to who became a slave, and that slave a to everything around him, gathered all together and took his journey into a far country where the father will not see him. But the mother the were not be able to reach him. He went. It was not at the time of cell phone. Even at this time of cell phone, if you don't want anybody to reach you and touch you and teach you, there's a way you can put off that thing and nobody can reach you. And the boy went into this far country and he wasted I have the all the substance we to put in there and righteous that what you've got. all is good but it's righteous not I have the car and I want to go living no a kind of life that makes him enjoy there. life he just got good, some money good, and he squandered everything he squandered money he squandered his health he squandered his opportunities, he squandered his life. He gambled with life and lost everything. All his substance, as the Lord has brought us into this world and we are born naturally. He gives us what belongs to us, a portion, a bridge, a mind, a thing. There are people that they are growing up, they waste the brain, they waste the mind. He gives us beauty in the flesh, on the face, in the body. Many people, they waste all that. He gives us good lungs to breathe by smoking the ordinary cigarette, the smoke gets in, damages your lungs. And then by smoking marijuana, weeds, all the intelligence, all the brain, all the mind is affected by the things you smoke. And there are people that the waste their life the by drinking. The problem the is they drink, they drink, they drink, Jesus and they're drinking. Well, get to the parts of their body, and you see all that, uh, whatever is in the drink, is not for the body to mature, to grow very well, and to be healthy. And there are people that take drugs, drugs, hard drugs. And they take all those drugs and they they waste virtually their lives. Other people get into you know, immoral life and they have a fleshly carnal knowledge of that woman, of that woman, of that thing. Virtually they can't. All they this venereal disease some people have, HIV AIDS, it's because the they became slaves, the they were slaves they to the flesh, the and slaves to substance, to and slaves to everything around, and instead and of their body, their mind, their emotion, their brain, and instead of everything good they have, working for them, everything that works begins. Them. And it's still restless. It's like if I didn't get to eat in the smoke, I'll get to eat in the drink. If I didn't get to eat in the, they're restless. They're searching, 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 they
satisfaction how can i have satisfaction how can i have this and they keep on in their restlessness and their reckless the way they use their life the reckless the way they gamble with their lives they are reckless in the way they gamble with the opportunity of getting to heaven has yes. become a slave and eventually see, begins to cry who shall deliver me from do this object and from this substance do not but as long as the restlessness go goes on as long as the recklessness in your life goes on there will be pain the there will be suffering devil, and that young man that uh, went to the far country in his restlessness searching and searching and searching in his recklessness going far and far and far to that other country he kept on suffering I pray that your day will be your day salvation restoration and all that restlessness the Lord will take that away. Look at Proverbs chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 16. In Rome, in Rome Proverbs chapter 4. When you came at verse 16, for they sleep not except they have done mischief. That's the restlessness. And they will say, I must do something to hurt somebody. I must do something to dig up somebody. I must do something to bring mischief. I must do something that the people around will know there is a restless slave around. They are reckless in their action. Which they are thoughtless in their in action. And, and in the things they do and the places they go, and the interactions they have, restless and reckless. It says, they sleep not, not except the they have done mischief, and their sleep life, is taken away unless they cause the some up to fall. They must the hurt somebody. Of God. They, they must provoke somebody. They must annoy the somebody. They must cut down somebody. They must push down somebody. It says in verse 17, verse 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. We're looking at Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 57, verse 20, but... The wicked are like the troubled sea when he cannot rest. Restlessness. And whose waters cast off my and dirt. Look at Psalm 37. I'm reading from verse 7. Psalm 37. Verse 7. It says, rest in the Lord. Let all this restlessness, let it stop all the agitation in the heart, in the mind. Let Tell it stop I, all the things that make you sleepless. That fellow, if you I wanted to get to him today to and do something that you will know I'm the son the of truth. my father. And I didn't even have the chance. And then you're rolling on the bed the there, you're planning. Why are you so restless? Rest in the Lord. And, and you wait, wait patiently is. for him. The hurry to get money. They hurry to build to business. They hurry to, to defile a name. They hurry to make to a man fall. And the restlessness and the planning, it says, Fret not thyself the because of him if you want who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. He's calling us to rest. He'll give you rest. I said he will give you rest. This is our young man who was in the far country. He spent everything he had. He wasted everything he had. He joined a rich man in that community. And that man sent him the degrading, disgrace 
faithful job to feed swine. And he had nothing to earn his salary. His remuneration was not sufficient to keep him. He wanted to eat of the host, give it to the swine. And the man won him. The day you touch that, so you know that you see, the will not even spirit. feed his body. You understand? Our body and flesh spirit. is different from the, the body and the flesh of the people. Spirit. And what the nourishes them will not nourish the our body. There is it's no like somebody looking at the feed that is given to chickens. It will feed those chickens, it will not nourish your body. It's like, you know, somebody looking at what cows eat. It may nourish them, but they are not made for the human body. Even if it was given, his health would still wane. His health would still vanish away. He became a slave by his own restlessness. My friends, your restlessness and your recklessness brings you to the calm. He slaves. He slaves. And you are not Jesus free. Christ but now we're looking at point number two. Point number two is the repentance and the restoration of the penitent sufferer. This man started suffering. And I'm going to pause that suffering. And you know, sometimes the experts will tell us your problem is what you eat.